What's up, Sarp? Everyone, Wave here. So you want to know how to actually play Elden Ring with keyboard and mouse? Let's get started. So, the first big problem you might have when you play Elden Ring with keyboard and mouse is when you go near a grace, it shows you the wrong prompts. It shows the Y button for the Xbox controller or some other controller button. We want to change it, obviously. We want to press Escape. We want to go to System. We want to go to Sound and Display. After that, you proceed to go and change the device for on-screen prompts from gamepad to keyboard and mouse. That's actually it. So now we can see we need to press E to rest at the side of grace. If you don't know how to open the map, just press G. And this is how you see the map. With WSD, you can move the map. With the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and zoom out. Pretty easy. The other stuff is pretty self-explanatory because down here, you can see every single option you have in the map area. So now I'm going to show you how the pouch actually works. And this is especially important when you have tamed your horse. So first of all, when you press escape, you can use your pouch on the right side. You can use these four quick slots and those two extra slots for usage with just pressing escape and clicking on them. For example, I have the lantern right here to click it and unclick it. I recommend to use the spectral seed whistle on one of these quick slots. This is how you use these quick slots. You press E and you hold it. After that, you use your mouse wheel up so you can use your upper item or you use your mouse wheel down to select the item below. Pretty easy. If you don't know how to use the item on the right or left, you just hold shift. And this is how you use the left item with mouse wheel down and shift. Mouse wheel up and shift will use the right item. Now we get to the most important part in Elden Ring with keyboard and mouse. It is indeed movement and combat. First of all, with WSD you move while moving and holding space you sprint. While moving and pressing space, you roll. And while standing and pressing space, you backstep. With F, you can jump. And with Q, you can lock onto enemies. Press Q again, you can unlock. Use it on how you see it fit. Now we are at the combat part. With E and left click, you can two hand your weapon. Do it again, we'll undo it. You can do it on the other side with E and right click. But we wanna two hand this weapon right now. With left click, we have our standard combo. Okay. With right click, we can block. With shift and left click, we have a heavy attack, a small one, and a large heavy attack while holding left click with shift. If you jump, you can also do attacks. You can also run and jump and do an attack. And you can run and jump and do a heavy attack. Interesting. This will be much more spicy with two-handed weapons. Two one handed weapons, but I'm gonna show you that later. First of all, we proceed with the special stuff. If you hold shift and right click, you go in the stance. With other weapon, this will, would already trigger a special attack. But here, you need to press left click afterwards and it will do a vertical strike. Now, there's something else. You press escape, you go to system, and you go to key bindings. If you scroll down here, you have another skill button but it's clear on your side on my side it has the tap button and we're gonna use the tap button i can recommend you that because some weapons in this game have two special attacks and you can use them with this tactic at accordingly on keyboard and mouse so this one was this special attack with a vertical strike but if you use tap right now tap you also go in the stance but if you use left click now it will be a horizontal strike. That's a difference. Now you have learned most of the common stuff. You can also backstab enemy or front step them if you stagger them enough. But that's stuff for you to figure out. Thank you for watching. This was the entire basic guide for keyboard and mouse. I'll see you next time and wafer out.